In this episode, we are going to show you how Maddie has a laughing fit. <laughs> how ants build a nest in Ollie's helmet. What the f***? How we walked in the forest with rescued elephants. Before we boarded a smoking ferry. Well, that's worth filming, I guess. <laughs> Show me. Where's that pimple? No! <laughs> so, for the maintenance, um, I definitely had to cheen the, uh, cheen the clean. <laughs> I cheen the clean. Look. Look at that. <laughs> it happened quite often in the last few times that I like misspelled a few words in there. All right, for the maintenance, I cleaned the chain um, because it was really full of sand. So I made it, gave her a proper, proper clean. The green stuff that you can see on the chain, that is actually a chain loop. So um, it looks fairly new now. Other than that, there's not much to, like, like a lot to do. Yeah, we're all set, good to go. And until he's ready again, feeling fresh and nice. Oh, and we gave a little bath. And then the property store came to say hello. What a beautiful start to our stay. We then started to explore the island, and straight away we spotted something rather dangerous. We've been warned about before. It's a very dangerous species. It's tourists on scooters. Coming here, we've heard a lot of stories that tourists rent a scooter and are inexperienced in riding it, and underestimate the dangers. And since it's not mandatory to wear a helmet or protection, a lot of times this ends in dangerous accidents, especially with those curvy and slippery roads when it rains. Tourist slipping and crashing even has a name here. It's called the tie tattoo, in relation to the bruises and scars they take away from that. So naturally, every time we saw a scooter, we paid extra attention. We made our way through the island, exploring every corner of it and enjoying the beautiful weather and landscapes. Okay, that was a close call. We visited Lanta Old Town to get a feeling of the earlier days. We then had a quick look at the pier. before we reach the south end of the island. Okay, that's enough of dangerous scooter riders now. We stop for a quick coffee break to soak in the beauty of this island. We were actually on our way back home, when I suddenly felt a little tickle in my left ear. Normally this isn't concerning, it's just one of my curls trying to enter my ear. But this time it didn't stop tickling. Everywhere. And it moved. Look! Look! Oh yeah! What are they doing? Oh my 
god. What the f That's not what you want to see while driving. Yay. Mm. That is no good. F off. So ants built a whole nest in Ollie's helmet. Seriously, what is it with Ollie and animals lately? First, the cat pissed on his jacket two episodes ago, and now the ants build a nest in his helmet. He really has a special love for animals. I'm sorry, dear ants, I had to destroy your little home because, in a way, it's like my little home for my head. <laughs> and I really, really don't like you distracting me while I'm riding. <laughs> Sorry. After this invasion of ants, I had to lighten up my mood again. So we decided to put the speaker on the bike and dance a little bit. Especially the last song really hit well. Can you guess from our amazing singing skills which song it is? Any ideas? Oh yes, it's the good old Vanga voice. We can't play it here due to copyright, but please enjoy it for us at home for a good old time. That night, we heard a strange noise coming from our outdoor bathroom. So we went investigating and we found this. Hello. You creepy thing watching a shower. <laughs> You're quite big. And just in case you didn't know, Geckos make this sound. Good morning. We had a wonderful night of sleep. Well, at least Medi did because I was kept awake by Steve the cow. <laughs> Here's some footage of Steve the cow. Okay, I'm really sorry. I forgot to take some footage of Steve the cow. But, I mean, it's just the cow. So here's a picture of a cow. Today we are off to an elephant sanctuary on Kotalanta, which is home to all the rescue elephants around Thailand, which is pretty cool. So... It's gonna be amazing, we're gonna see some elephants. <laughs> we arrived at the sanctuary and first were greeted by a million cats. And Maddie is off to satisfy her addiction. We're getting a cat from me. <laughs> There's many others addiction. Straight dogs. <laughs> we sit down to learn about the elephants and the sanctuary. And then it was time to head out and see the gentle giants.
elephant found Ollie particularly interesting and came a little closer. Needless to say, Ollie shit his pants. Speaking of shit. Did she do a big poop? Had a big breakfast. <laughs> Goodbye, Mrs. Elephant. It was time to say goodbye to the elephants, and we decided to have some sunset cocktails on the beach, reflect on this amazing day, and enjoy some deep talks and quality time. And more cocktails. And guess who drunk stumbled on the beach and went face first into the sand? Our time on Koh Lanta came to an end, and it was time to leave the island. We did some more exploring in the morning on our way out. Before we stopped for breakfast at the pier. And just in case you wondered how preparing breakfast on the road looks like, all the food connoisseurs, please look away now. <laughs> Thank you. Roadside. <laughs> mm. <laughs> we walked to the front of the pier where Ollie showed his breakfast the amazing view. <laughs> and enjoyed our breakfast in peace and quiet. to the loud and smoky fairy. We reached mainland and continued our journey. See, our plan was to drive through the middle of Thailand, from the west coast all the way to the east coast, to a city called Kanon. The ride itself was, to be honest, pretty boring, and not much happened. Except from the countryside fuel stations. Welcome to fueling up with Ollie. First, you put some money in. Oh. I don't know what that means. <laughs> then you take the nozzle, which doesn't have any thing here. <laughs> you put it in here. Then you press a button. And you enjoy the music. <laughs> All that dancing made us a bit hungry, so we decided to check out the local food markets. All right. We just made it through a whole stretch of 200 and what? 200 and no, 220 kilometers in total. It was really boring, really hot, really strange. <laughs> so now we're rewarding us with some market food. And then we're gonna do the last stretch of 120 kilometers up to the east coast of Thailand. And then I'll probably get a haircut as well. It's about time.
So, we decided to go for half a chicken with some weird sauces. Maybe get some chicken pieces. And some pork crackle and rice. Pork crackle and whatever rice. this is. And then we have this. I think it's like deep fried chicken feet. I don't know. They all deep laughed fried... at me when I said I'd take it. <laughs> Sorry, say again? They all laughed at me when I said I'd take one of those. <laughs> so it's either We're... really spicy or it's really weird. <laughs> We're about to find out. <laughs> If these are the muscles that normally massage on you, it's <laughs> the back from the back bone. Left and right. <laughs> yeah, you're the same lightweight. Can't say anything against that. Right? We enjoyed our on the road lunch with Tilly when it was time for Maddie to get me back in the good old game Is It Spicy? Here are the rules Order food not knowing if it's spicy. If it is, don't give it away. Hide it. Here's your chance of winning a point. Convince your opponent to try the super spicy food. If he burns his mouth, you win a point. Easy as that. Now, watch Maddie's perfect execution to win a point. Try that. It's like crazy, but I can't think oh, I haven't tried it yet. Yeah. You liar! Oh, not me, that's hot. <laughs> Is this hot, Betty? No. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's lemongrass! <laughs> it's pure green chili in there. Woo. I got Maddy a few weeks ago and was leading with one point, but now it's even. You got me back. Yeah, I did. You're happy now? Yeah, I'm very happy. <laughs> Very happy. <laughs> so after Ollie cooled down, it was time to hit the road for the last stretch to reach the east coast. And after a long day of riding and burning mouths, we were rewarded with one last jewel, Road 4232, a beautiful curvy road along the coastline. Oh. reached our home and called it a day. So we've just arrived in Kanum to our little bungalow, which is super cute. We have a hammock, a little garden. It's amazing. <laughs> little Porsche to sit on. And inside we have aircon and fridge, which is total luxury. Super cute. And then our toilet 
is literally forever. And this is where this episode ends. In the next episode, you will see Ollie chopping off his head. Maddie climbing into a dark hole. Us feeding fish with our feet. Before we cross some water on our way back to the west coast of Thailand. Right, I'll start. You gonna start? Yeah, I'm starting. You gonna start? I'm starting. You starting? I'm starting. Okay, go. Okay. Go. <laughs> right. <laughs> There it is, that is uh, episode number two for Thailand and that was jam packed with so much stuff. We yeah. had, we went everywhere that episode and we had so much fun editing All the way that. around. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty cool actually, <laughs> when always when we were reviewing it, it's like that episode was really, I don't know, fun to review. I don't know, yeah. it just had a lot of fun. <laughs> so yeah, sorry for the late in the videos. Um, we're in Lay in Ladakh now, and um, I got really, really sick, and that wasn't nice. So it was nasty. For the last 10 days, I was laying in bed with uh, 40 and above uh, degree fever. Um, not very nice. Carl recommended probably dengue fever. We don't know yet, so the test is still coming. Anyways, we're back, <laughs> and we're actually right now getting ready to uh, leave Lay now. We've spent a lot of time now, yes. actually just here in that room, but still. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done much exploring of this uh, area yet, so yeah. yeah, we are now packing up, getting ready to head out and explore this area. So Exactly, so tomorrow, we're just packing up, tomorrow we're going to... I can't remember. Nubra Valley. Yes. <laughs> 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 Nubra Valley is going to be our first stop. Uh, we're going to finally camp. Very much looking forward to that. Um, we still have to check if the roads are open um, because there was a bit of rainfall, so mm -hmm. we will see. But before we forget it, thank you, thank you, thank you, Anonymous yes. uh, Fuel of Tank. Uh, tank of Fuel Buyer. <laughs> tank of Fuel Buyer. Thank you very much for supporting us. Uh, we don't know who you are. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much. And if you guys want to support our journey as well, the links are, as always, somewhere, somewhere down here. here. Yeah. I don't know. Just <laughs> click it wherever it says something with fuel and tank and then you can support our journey and support this entertainment actually um, um, if you like to. So yeah. yeah. Right. We better get packing and we better go. <laughs> Bye.